and rounding off uh, former UFC featherweight champion Jose Aldo uh, he's had a tough run also recently uh, he's coming off of a a pretty tough lost in his hometown of Rio to Alexander Volkanovsky. Uh, before that he had two straight wins and before that two straight TKO losses. So he's lost three out of his last five fights. And he was talking about uh, retirement uh, after losing in his hometown and to his hometown fans, which is understandable. I mean, there's a lot of fighters who, when that happens to them, that's kind of where their mind starts going. But we can now inform you via ESPN, uh, via Brett Okamoto, that the Brazilian fighter has signed an exclusive eight-fight deal with the UFC. Eight fights, that is not a bad deal. Um, and this opens up some interesting possibilities, in my opinion. Uh, now that we know that uh, Jose Aldo is here to stay, <coughs> I know that yesterday, uh, last episode, we were talking about uh, the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung. And how I mentioned that uh, I feel that, you know, Jeremy Stevens or Brian Ortega would be good names. But now that I'm looking at the rankings again, I kind of feel like Brian Ortega and Jose Aldo would be a match made in heaven. Uh, ranked number two and number three, respectively. I feel that, like, the winner there is not necessarily an immediate title challenger, but will be the final stepping stone for, you know, your... Zabit Magomed Sharipov's or your uh, Chan Sung Jung's, the, the rising perhaps new con title contenders. Uh, and just in terms of style, I think Ortega versus Aldo will be a lot of fun. Uh, very different styles, but uh, without a doubt, a, I, I think a fun fan friendly matchup. So that is actually the fight that I uh, kind of really want to see now that uh, Ortega is coming back and we know that uh, Josie Aldo is here to stay.